It's time to begin the story of the poet and the wind. Now the poet went down to the river one day to sit and talk to the river and pray. The trees were happy to see him with their leaves red, brown, and gold because fall was falling fast and things were beginning to get cold. So the poet gave respect to the river, respect to the sky, and respect to the earth. The four directions and inner reflections as to why he was given his birth. When all of a sudden, the poet heard leaves rustling and he knew that it must have been the wind. And he knew that the wind always blew right through him. So he packed up his things to go home. Now the wind was from the north, powerful and strong. And the breeze made the trees howl and sing the wind's song. So the poet started stepping. But the wind gave chase, and it blew a gust and kicked up dust right up in the poet's face. And the poet, he wasn't going to stand for this disgrace. So the poet did the craziest thing you'd ever see. The poet battled the wind with poetry. And the wind got crazy and it started to gust. And the poet raised his head and he started to bust about earth's pollution and mind evolution and how you can kill the revolutionary, but you can't kill the revolution. And just when it looked like the poet was winning, the wind began to gather and it started spinning and it knocked that poet blind because the wind is a warrior just as old as time. Came at that poet so hard that it blew the poet's mind. So we started reaching for metaphor and searching for simile, digging deep inside himself for the capability of seeing beauty in everything. And his heart began bursting and blooming, and he spoke of love and life and his emotions inside. But then the wind came at him like an ocean tide, and it knocked that poet right off of his feet. But the poet, he wasn't that easily beat. He got right back up and started his expression, making each and every word a personal confession. The poet tried to find all the prose he could muster, but the wind was blowing hard, and it started to bluster and the clouds came to help him and they darkened the sky but the poet kept speaking and he let his spirit fly and he pummeled the wind with prose but the warrior wind it got stronger and rose it came at him from the front it came at him from the rear it threw the poet rocked the poet knocked the poet tossed the poet but it tasted the poet's tears so the poet cried out for justice and he called upon his ancestors. He used every poetic technique he could remember, defining his culture and finding his consciousness. He let those words flow till he was out of breath. He had nothing left. But then he realized something and he didn't know what to do because he saw that the wind had died down too. See, neither of them was stronger than the other. Both of them warriors. Both of them brothers. They had stood eye to eye, toe to toe. But they no longer look at the other as a foe. And that's where the story must end. Both having respect for their newfound friend. The wondrous tale of the poet and the wind.